So today we're gonna be looking at <laughs> a refrigerator. Yeah, it, this doesn't look to be a this doesn't seem to be a certified medical product. Rather, uh, some AliExpress find for like a beer can or for medicine. I'm guessing it's for diabetes medicine. It has no information at all except for health and something in Chinese. No label whatsoever. Strange. In a battery compartment. But it doesn't run out of alkaline batteries as you would expect. There we actually has a label. Health. HLA1. <laughs> DC 5 to 6.5 volt, 3.5 watts. And a QR code. And maybe he has to open it up. And I doubt it's a real refrigerator with gases. Uh, but maybe it, it works. Here's the battery. Oh, exact same color as uh, some LG cells, but definitely generic Chinese. And they actually have a BMS. Why do they have a BMS? This product should, of course, have the BMS built in. Now we have successfully repaired this little machine, and it's working again. And I'm so excited by this machine, so I decided to test it out. It says the target temperature is about 5C, but we're getting about 14C, and that's terribly off. If you're keeping insulin or something like that, it's not really good. Sure, I have a wire that goes through, so it's not 100% uh, sealed, but I feel no airflow over here. But it is cold, and I think that is pretty interesting, because I've looked into how you can create coolness and there is only one way you need to cool down gases by compressing them or expanding them that's the only way you can actually create cold so how this can even draw it down to 15 from around uh, 21 celsius and of course it feels cold because it's aluminium but even the air is slightly cooler and there's a fan and i can see a large heat sink and I think we maybe can open this up and have a little look because I don't know how you can create cold without gases. If anyone knows, let me know because I haven't found a single way. We've been looking at selling, um, uh, first of all, fans here in Sweden since it gets very hot in the summer and fans do not cool down anything. They are move a lot of air around so it feels cooler and then there's swamp coolers we have one of those too but not really useful there's only one type of air conditioning that we could find and i was looking at prototypes and even some youtuber who had put some balls <laughs> in and what is this From what I can see, this is only two things. It's a fan and it's a metal plate. There is something there, but that just seems like a plastic screw. And we have wires for the fan. Two wires going down here, probably for the display. And we have um, most likely a temperature sensor. And of course a PCB with two charging outputs. I know this is how you cool down a PC and many other things, but they can only cool it down to room temperature. And this needs to be able to cool things down to refrigerate the temperature, which I don't think is possible, especially just a fan and a piece of aluminium. Now these thick wires seems to actually be going and there's the display wires here's the display wires so there is something here there is something underneath the cooling plate which is glued down tight so we cannot check it and it has thick wires and it says E5 and cool we don't want to break this since it isn't ours but if you buy this, I would really like to know what kind of thing they have connected there, which is titled just cool. 
that can actually cool down because it's cooling it down to room temperature uh, but there is some kind of component there what kind of component can they have that actually cools them because they cannot cool it they just have to transfer the heat and I'm guessing they transfer the cool to this aluminium sheet and the hot to this aluminium sheet and I doubt there's any tubes and gases or anything like that compressed but there is something underneath this metal sheet that actually cools down this compartment which is very cool I have not found any technology that can do that without gases but there are probably smarter people out there who can explain to me how it's even possible to cool it down to 15 C and if it was more powerful it could maybe cool it down even more it's not the best design they attach the fan with screws but there are no screw holes so they yam it down between these heat sink flenses and I guess it works but it's kind of do-it-yourself style not like Johnson and Johnson and I still think it's kind of strange that it's basically brandless named just health H L A one so I wouldn't trust this machine but obviously it does something to cool it below room temperature and I would like to know how because I think this is pretty cool so let us know if you know anything about what kind of component sits under there and I will give this back to the customer and explain to him that it might not cool his medicine to the right temperature.